Good morning everyone and welcome to a beautiful day on the way to the airfield checking an actual airframe out. I wanted to introduce that block way earlier and I don't really know why I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, here we go. So you're actually joining me on a drive out to Lasham Airfield um, where I'm looking at a standard Series 75 as an airframe to purchase for our university. I don't know who of you is, is involved with um, the European program called Formula Your Student, ran by universities. Um, it's basically, I had the same idea to do the same thing um, as the automotive people are doing in aerospace as well. So um, the intention is, if the glide airframe I'm looking at today is um, of good quality and it gets its MOT for gliders done again, um, we are in a very good position to actually purchase that one take it into a workshop in university and then together with our students convert it into a motor glider. So the whole background idea is actually to make a non-CO2 emitting plane which is self-launchable, not just a sustainer as many other projects are doing at the minute, but we would like to have it self-launchable and ran purely on electric energy of course. As a power plant we're intending to use a um, highly efficient outrunner brushless motor, a lot of torque involved and um, well say that the technology evolved and, and developed so greatly within the last five to eight years I would say that we're now in the position to actually convert this glider and run it with an electric motor. Briefly I'd like to introduce myself but before I go ahead with this one I'd like to say sorry to you guys for the surrounding I mean I'm currently on the way very spontaneously to Lasham Airfield around Reading in the UK. Lovely day for it. Um, and the purpose of today is literally very advanced in the project already. I'll be looking at the airframe I'm intending to get today together with a friend of my gliding club from home um, who very very kindly agreed to help me out because he's an, he's an actual inspector for airframes. And he's going to help me out today and we're going to run around the glider and see whether it's still airworthy or it will be getting another airworthiness certificate. Um, and yeah, I'm literally on the drive there and I'd like to use this opportunity to actually introduce myself and the whole project that I'm working at. So my name is Kim and um, I've been in the UK for about three years now. Came over as an international student, finished my aerospace studies here. Then, funny enough, this university I'm with um, offered me a place to work, offered me a job. And I couldn't really say no, it was, it was too good to be true really. because. Once you get the chance to, to work on those projects you really love and you're excited about doing and you actually earn money with it. Sorry, I couldn't really say no. No, you got me. Um, yeah, what else you need to know about it? Um, I've been working one year as an e-learning and outreach developer. So that means setting up online learning content and uh, representing my university outside. That means going to schools and doing activities with kids present the university at open days and all work that was really great and, and exciting to do um, and I've had this idea about this electric glider for a very long time in my mind for about four years I'm from a radio control background that sort of made me an engineer an aerospace engineer and you know flying little radio control planes started gliding at the age of 14 um, that was probably the best thing I ever did in my life um, thanks so many people back home um, which is Germany by the way, for like making me who I am in that sense. Um, and yeah, so those two sort of areas of, of flying combined made me think about, hang on a minute, why not having an electrical propulsion unit in a manned glider? I mean, of course, um, there's some technology involved as well in that. It's, it wouldn't be possible solely on, I just have this idea. But from the development around the radio controlled flying in general, within the last five to eight years, is absolutely it's that gorgeous that we now got the opportunity and the technology um, in terms of electric motors in terms of batteries in terms of power management um, that we are able now to equip a single seater glider with an electric propulsion unit so you caught me on the drive um, to Lasham Airfield around the southeast of Reading in the beautiful UK on a day like this we got blue skies we got very, very nice weather going on and I'm very excited to look at an airframe today which is going to be a standard Zero 75 by Schempiert. Um I should give you a little bit more information around it, didn't I? Um, the idea is to use the Cirrus solely because for what it is, it's gorgeous and let me explain to you why. Alright, we arrived at the glider um, just had the first sort of inspection of 
they're now split in two session. Um, so we checked the fuselage, we did check all the connections for the um, the wings as well as the tailplane which goes on. And I'd love to show you around for a second. So, this is the plane we're talking about. Standard Cirrus 75. Yeah, and I can actually show you a little bit around what we're intending to do. So, you're in the nose of the glider now. These are the rudder pedals. Um, the intention now is, and this is because I'm looking forward to get an actual Cirrus as a glider, is use all that space here, I hope you can see it well, um, to in-house the motor really, so that, that cap comes off, we're going to be re we're going to be taking out all the mechanics for the actual rudder, and then chop the nose off quite literally, about where this wall goes at the minute. And um, yeah, replace it with a new bulkhead, which then allows us to mount a motor to it, um, and that's about it. Then, obviously, we need some batteries. The batteries are going going in here as part of maybe some are going into the wing. This is something that still sort of has to be defined um, further down within the project because there are a couple of regulations we have to stick to, um, basically saying which we can't have a weight of non-lifting devices of this plane. Of more than 240 kilos well that's quite limited so we might have to think about solutions that we get um, batteries into lifting part of an airplane which are obviously the wings so we have to work out whether we can put batteries in there um, get in contact with the manufacturer and ask people how they think about a solution for that um, but yeah apart from that very very tidy airplane the inspector was saying that um, he's seen way worse and only slightly better so for what it is, I think it's quite decent and I'm very excited to take on further steps and we probably have it on campus relatively soon. So stay tuned.